Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dustin and on this channel we talk about things from vlogging all the way to tech reviews. And if you're into that sort of thing, definitely consider subscribing. Today we're going to be talking about something pretty awesome. I'm really excited to review this. This is the Comica CVM R3. It took me a little bit to remember. Okay, so if you didn't know, recently I actually reviewed something for the Canon EOS M50 made by Comica. I was actually able to pick up some more stuff by Comica, which I'm very excited about. This is the Comica CVM R3. This is a handheld mount for your phone to mount in to use it as a video camera setup. This is a versatile video grip for your smartphone. You can work this for your iPhone and Android. It is not a stabilizer. Keep that in mind. This is simply so you can record using your hand. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what it looks like on the inside. Now that we have it unboxed, we're gonna put this thing together using all these pieces. First things first is we got our grip. I'm gonna twist this guy on, twist that on there, and then we'll twist this right here. Now, the main reason why you would wanna get this, in my opinion, is for live streaming with your mobile device. Right now, there isn't really a lot of options available for live streaming on the go with just a simple camera like I'm using right here. The best option in my opinion and for a very long time is to use your mobile phone with a setup similar to this one. The cool thing about this one right here is that you have two cold shoe mounts. One for a light and one for possibly a microphone. Or you can put them in either place in whatever order you like. But I did want to show you guys how exactly that'll look with this setup. <laughs> There you have it guys, that is the selfie video camera setup for the iPhone or Android device using the handheld grip. Keep in mind that I don't actually have the audio adapter for my iPhone 7. If you guys don't know the story of this, Apple took away the audio input jack. I can get an adapter to hook it up and I will when I plan to use this for my live streaming. But this is how exactly it looks. It's a fairly simple setup. I actually think that this might be very usable for video production as well. Run and gun shooting, this type of rig is really cool to have, especially if you're able to add a light and a microphone to your phone on the go anytime, any day of the week. It's pretty amazing. Keep in mind also, if you wanted to, you could add this onto a tripod. Uh, you can mount this so they can use the tripod itself and use this as your full video camera. Overall, I think this is actually a really cool, innovative way for Comica to come out with something that's very usable for a lot of the YouTubers today. If you guys didn't notice, a lot of YouTubers currently are working from their iPhones directly editing and everything. I think that's a really smart move for them to be able to push towards this because this makes it a lot more accessible for all of us to be able to get a quality camera setup with all of these add-ons. I won't be doing any video testing with this today because I will be using it in the future to do a separate test video with simply 4K video shooting on an iPhone 7 and Filmic Pro using this simple setup right here. So the video test will come eventually, but for now, I just wanted to show you guys how exactly the rig is set up and how easily you can use it on your channel. Now, some of the questions that you guys may have is why would you use this over a gimbal? Uh, if you haven't used a gimbal before, there are some issues with using those things. First of all, the stabilization sometimes messes with the image stabilization within the camera itself on the phone. The built-in image stabilization kind of gets jelloey when you're using a gimbal as well as the phone. So having something like this allows your phone to do all the image stabilization, but at the same time you have a secure grip on your phone camera. Also, a lot of the gimbals don't have these attachment slots, so you can't put your audio and lighting on your handheld grip, making it a lot more accessible and professional having this setup. And honestly, in my opinion, sometimes the gimbal it's not as realistic as I would like it to be. I feel sometimes the gimbal is too easy and you're not really challenging yourself. And by using something like this, you're able to learn and better your technique and just get better as a filmmaker in general. And I, I think it's definitely gonna be something I'm gonna be using in the future. I do plan to do live streams. I do plan to do video recordings with this. So I'm excited to see how exactly I can produce some footage with this thing. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoy this, if you want to see more of these like this, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.